Anthony Flower, in terms of the art world, is he's a conundrum. With the recent work that's been undertaken on the study of his, uh, of his life and paintings, we have a, a completely different view of him now. Um, and that view, in fact, has led to more questions. There's still a lot we don't know about Anthony Flower. Because we don't know it, it intrigues us. What compelled him to keep producing art? You know, he was a farmer, but he, in some way, took the time to infuse his life with art. The fact that we have so many of his paintings, the fact that he painted life as he saw it, that kind of thing is really, really important. Not just on a county level, on a provincial level, maybe a national level. Um, I, I think I find Anthony Flower interesting because there are so many unanswered questions. Despite all the research you do, another question always pops up. Why would a young man leave a wonderful estate? Why would he leave that type of a life? His works, I think, in my view, fall in that same realm of artwork that is created outside of the mainstream, artwork that is outside of academic uh, considerations, and uh, artwork that comes from the heart and soul of, of the country. It's extraordinary art by a, a very ordinary person. Thank you.